Yo, what's going on gamers? Welcome back to another Monster Adventure. Now, today I'm going to be giving you guys all the combinations, every single one of those legendary monsters that you need for uh, the game to succeed, I guess, in battles and everything like that, and get more and more legendary monsters. So, I've done a video like this a long time ago, and um, it did pretty well. Not gonna lie, it did pretty well. And you guys asked me for an updated video, so I just wanted to make an updated where I basically uh, put on all the legendary monsters that are available right now in the game. So, last time it was just the common legendary monsters you know so this time the new ones that are into the game now uh they're epic i mean um social point added some new legendary monsters so it, it wasn't that long time ago it was like a couple of months i guess uh so those legendary monsters are breathable now 100 percent. but you won't have the 100 percent chance to get them so you have to keep trying okay maybe if it don't work like let's say you you try at least 10 times um, and you don't get the legend monster try feeding him up to like the next form you know like let's say he's in the, his second form try getting him in his third form and if that don't work try feeding up the other monster that you need uh, to breed him to and maybe that will work that's how I got my dark soul dark soul I got, I got him I think it, it was at least 20 try uh, I tried it at least 20 times and it was more than 20 times actually and then I started feeding my other epic monster that I needed to breed the sludgy monster and it actually worked out so I don't want to make this video too long okay I'm, I'm just gonna stop talking now I'm gonna basically give you guys all the legendary monsters that you need so these won't work 100% you just have to keep trying okay I know how, how it feels um, I got my first legendary monster a long time ago and it was actually pretty fun I was very excited very happy uh, but then when you get more and more legendary monsters then you get very powerful I guess you, you become a pro player so I'm just gonna give you guys I wanted to help you guys out and I don't want to make this video too long uh, I know I'm, I'm, I'm still talking I don't know why but anyway let's get into the video so first we're gonna start off with Nemistrinus because he's the first one in the list and he was the first legendary monster that was actually in the game I'm, I believe so because I started somewhere like uh, I think it was around Panda Claws. I, I remember when Panda Claws came out and Workaholic actually. So I think it was around Workaholic when, when I started playing the game. And now look, way too many legendary monsters you guys know. But anyway, I'm not gonna. I'm I'm, I'm just gonna go through it. So in the mystery is you need Dark Nubis, the epic monster, the dark and magic monster. You need him, and you also need uh, Rhinox monster, which is thunder and nature so you need those two epic monsters to get nemistrinus now for the next one vada magma you need uh that horse monster i forgot his name but i'm gonna put up a picture right now on the screen i forgot his name but uh there's a picture so you need that epic monster it's a fire and light monster but i just forgot the name so yeah i mean you guys are gonna tell me in the comments that's that's a that's all good okay but it's just that I, I don't remember right now right so yeah I'm pretty sure I'm gonna remember it after the video when I'm editing the video and everything like that so you need the horse monster whatever his name is you need him with skipless uh, epic monster most of these breed uh, breedable monsters need epics uh, I think it's all of them I'm not sure but I uh, most of them are epics so you need epic monster mostly all right now next one is Rock and Tam, and this Rock and Tam monster looks like a beast, I know. And it was a pretty good legendary monster when I had him, but now I have way too many other monsters, so now I just don't use him anymore. I barely use him. So, but he's still very powerful. His legend, uh, I mean, his uh, special skill is the best, uh, one of the best actually. Not in like the top top, but I'm just saying when you're a starter player. So this legend, this legend monster, what you need for him is. Um, a Musu epic monster which is water and rock you need that monster with Terra crank now Terra crank is a magic and um, what's his name that's element right here rock so you need that monster with Musu to actually breed rock into him so for this next one Torter of course uh, this one is a really good legend monster but one of his skills just slows down and it has like a low percent chance of slowing down the enemies but other than that he's a really good attacker uh, so for this monster you need rabbit X, which is a nature and lightning it's a little hard to get him but it's not that hard so you have to keep trying him and I'm pretty sure he has egg is in a and is, is in an adventure map or like a, it's a node that you need to fight and beat I guess and then you get it so the egg could be for free but you just have to I mean you need some legendary monsters some strong monsters to actually get that egg because it's a it's like a long note but anyway um, the next monster you need for him 
uh, with Dravidex to be the Sundry Monster is uh, I never get to pronounce the name right. It's a magic with another element, but I'm gonna put up a picture for you guys. So you need that monster with Rabidex and uh, to get this Toyo monster. All right, here comes a good one, uh, Lord of Atlantis. So this monster you need uh, what's his name? Lord of no no no, Drop Elemental and Rasfish. So you need those two epics to get this legendary monster. Now Rasfish is actually really easy to get him to beat him. Actually, all you need is those two. Um, monsters the common monsters you need to you can purchase from the shop you know the common water monster you need two of them so basically you have to hatch two of them and then just breed them and you will get rasfish uh just like legend monsters just it's not 100 percent like correct so you have to keep like i guess um there's like a lower percent chance of getting these legendary monsters and those epics but you have to keep trying and never give up i guess for dark ziggle all you need is a um you know, of course these two epics are both breedable so one of them is Familina which is the magic and dark monster I'm gonna put up a picture for her too and a dark nubis dark nubis is also a readable one uh, but it's a little bit hard to get I guess in my opinion but you may get it in your first try or so second if you're lucky enough so keep trying and you'll get get them and then try breeding this monster for me it worked on four I mean not four a level four when I got some got both of them to level four uh, dark nubis and the other monster both in level four I had, I guess, a higher chance of getting a monster. I don't know if I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but that's how it worked for me. So for this one, Goldfield, I wouldn't recommend getting him, but if you want a good, a good supporter in your team and not an attacker, then you should definitely go for her. Because look, look at the power. Low power, low speed, but everything is, else is good. So this is good to just have him in your habitats and everything like that. But other than that, um, no. So this monster, all you need is drop elemental which uh, you need for Lord of Atlantis, right, remember? So you need that monster, that epic, with this other one. I'm gonna put up a picture for him. I forgot his name, but it's a magic with nature monster, I believe. So those two monsters, you combine them and then you'll get Goldfield. Now, Arch Knight, this is one of the most coolest looking legendary monster in the game. So this beautiful legendary monster, you don't really, I mean, it is actually a bit hard to get up, but all you need is gold core, which was a little bit hard for me to get, but not just that that epic monster. You also need this other one that is not breedable at, at all. I forgot his name, or her name I guess. Um, I'm going to put up a picture, and you guys could just go ahead and um, look her up or something and try to get her in the game I guess. Uh, it's a good epic monster, but um, to get this legendary monster, you, of course you need to get some... Uh, of course you need to get those two epics and uh, to be able to breed this legendary monster because this one I, I believe this one's actually one of the hardest ones um, one of the hardest okay so we haven't gone to the rest I guess uh, maybe you already have those two monsters I guess already uh, if you do that's awesome but if not then uh, this might be a little bit hard to get now for this one you don't need two epics you only need one epic which is not breedable uh, I believe it's not breedable um, like 99% sure it's not readable so this epic was a little bit hard for me to get but I hope it's a little bit easy for you guys now to get um, I can't really pronounce his name right but I'll be putting up a picture um, you guys you just have to get that epic and then after that you need this uncommon monster it's not an epic it's an uncommon uh, which is Obsidia now this might be one of the hardest too because for this one you need Pandoff Pandoff is easy to get you could get him from adventure map uh, it's an egg, of course, the panda, if you guys already know who he is, um, the epic monster, so put him, breed him, and um, this other monster, I forgot his name, but it's a robot looking monster, I'll put up a picture for him too, and all you need is co uh, combine those two, and you'll have a chance to get this worker hog. Now this next legendary monster, this one's also breedable, it came out to be like a breedable monster, and like, I guess it was a few months ago or so. I haven't bred him yet, that's because uh, I'm missing one monster, I think it's Phoenix monster. I'm gonna put up a picture, uh, that's the first monster you need, Phoenix, it don't matter what level, I think at least level 4 will be good. Every single legend you need that I talked about, all you need to do is just get him to like level 4 and then you can start breeding him, uh, breeding them I guess. So you need the Phoenix monster with this uh, snake looking monster, his name is Aolong, I'm pretty sure I pronounced it 
wrong at the same time I feel like I pronounced it right but that don't matter um, I'm gonna put up a picture for him too you're gonna need those two epics to breed this legendary monster now if this legendary monster is your first ever legendary monster then that's good it's a really good um, legendary monster and it came out um, in that island I, I still remember it was like at least a year ago uh, he was in that hell island that's what it was called which uh, Barbatos and those other legendary monsters were also you know in it and um, yeah it was a good legendary monster now for breeding this monster right here he's a little bit special I guess he's a pretty good supporter too so for this monster uh, he's a really good healer I guess you could say and a good he has a good trait too uh, let's stop talking about that let's get, get into a combination alright so you need Galante which is a legendary monster so that's why it's special you need that legendary monster which is not breedable at all I don't think you could get him unless you purchase the legendary monster you need that monster with this other epic monster that I forgot his name but I'm gonna put up the picture so you need those two combine them and you'll get this um, good looking legendary monster so about this monster guys he's also breedable but let me just talk about him real quick so a lot of players are saying some different sort of like breed breeding, um, breeding combinations for this legendary monster and they're all wrong but most of them I mean they're telling them the right thing but you, you, you'll never know unless you watch this video I guess so for this monster I'm gonna tell you guys the truth you need Goldra which is an epic monster it's a bug looking monster I already have them and you also need Dark Nubis Dark Nubis you need him for that other breeding that in the beginning I showed you guys already so you need those two monsters to breed Ultra Blood. So now for this monster right here, Exoskill, he's a really good attacker. Not gonna lie, he's one of the goodest attacker. Uh, pretty strong. Um, he's like a laser, I guess you could say. You know. So for this monster, all you need. Wait, why is it? Why is it white? Like the thing around him, it's white. But these ones aren't. Anyway, so for this monster, right? Um, all you need is uh, this other monster, the Epic uh, Griffix. So Griffix, you need uh, him. It's a nature with lightning. I'm not sure if he's breedable or not. He was in an island a week ago. and I mean, it wasn't a week ago. It was like a long time ago. I don't know if he's ever going to come back or not. But I'm not sure if he's breedable though. You need that epic monster with this other one. Um, I don't remember his name. But I will put up a picture right now in the screen. So you need to combine those two monsters to get exo skill. So that's pretty easy, I guess. Now this next one is a special one, Nigeria. Now this monster looks pretty awesome, you know? The way, the design, everything like that. Um, this one is also a new one to breed. And for this legendary monster, you need uh, Frieza, or maybe I spelled his name, or pronounced his name wrong. But I'm gonna put up his picture. And of course this other girl, I forgot her name too. But I'll put up a picture for her right now in the screen. Um, so you need those two epics to breed this legendary monster i'm sorry if i don't know their names i just it's not like i'm i'm the creator of them you know yes everybody makes mistakes i'm sorry but um yeah those two epic monsters you need them to breed this legendary monster and look her special skill so awesome so if you get this monster he is one of the good she is one of the goodest i guess so the next one is trail ups and mine i got i didn't get him through my through any breedings uh i got him through crafting him but he is breedable so all you need is iroc man which is the epic um, earth monster earth and another uh, element I forgot the element but it's um it's gonna sh show you guys right now I'm gonna put up a picture uh, you need that epic monster with um, this other one his name is graded on or something like that I can't really pronounce his name but it's like a football player um, football player monster I guess if that makes sense so there's his picture and yeah so those uh, two epic monsters if you combine them you'll get this um, cool looking legendary monster for this one you need Gotel which is uh, an epic monster of course and this other one is an epic too for this cool looking guy I guess this old man uh, I haven't gotten him yet I might try to breed him or something I, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm missing a monster or not because this breeding came out like a few months ago and everything that's going on in the game right now I just can't focus you know on breeding so you need that for this monster and of course of course you need this other epic monster his name is Rootsiel I'm not sure if you guys know him, but I will be putting up a picture right now just like uh, always so you need those two epics to get this uh, cool looking guy I guess but his his skills are decent alright it's a good legend monster if you get him and like um, at least level 40 or so if you're like at least around level 50 when it says you're like at least your top 
10 Legendary Emulsors, or at least if you have 10 Legendary Emulsors and you get them, it's a good Legendary Emulsor. But for those of you that are high players and watching this video, then the Emulsor could be good, I guess, uh, in your for your collection. So, yeah, let's move on. Now, here goes the last Legendary Emulsor that I'm going to be telling you guys. This is the last one. So, his name is Super Dan. I'm pretty sure you guys know him. And for this monster, you need Squaw Meta Jr. It is a epic monster with metal, rare, uh, metal, and something. I think it's rock, the second element. Um, you need that epic monster with X Bug. So X Bug is a thunder with uh, metal monster, which was actually out in Christmas. I'm not sure if you guys have him. He came out in the item shop. I'm pretty sure. I remember he came out in the item shop, but uh, he's not currently in the item shop. I believe so because there's another epic now that is out in the item shop so yeah that is pretty much it guys um, I hope you all enjoyed it and if this was really helpful for you guys then please go ahead and drop a like and support this video this video um, I'm pretty sure is gonna take a lot of editing so yeah I just wanted to do, do it for you guys to help you all out and if you want to support the channel go ahead and subscribe and I'm gonna be live streaming um, whenever I'm free so make sure you hit the bell so you won't miss any live streams or any of my daily videos so I hope I was really helpful for you guys I didn't just want to make this video for fun or anything um, I just wanted to help you guys out and yeah I hope it was helpful so th this is all the legendary monsters that is breedable so far in 2018 uh, if there's any new monsters added in 2019 I will make a separate video um, like another video I guess in that year uh, with the extra legendary monsters that are breedable I guess so thanks for watching, I'll see you in my next video, peace out.